Welcome to the 2019 Motorsport UK British Kart Championships. It's time to kick off the IAMI season from PF International in Lincolnshire. I'm Jake Stanson and today we're bringing you all the action from the Ayami Cadet class. Before we bring you the race highlights, we spoke to the highly rated privateer Macaulay Bishop, who proves you don't need to run in a big team to race at the head of the pack. For me to come second in one of the heats from 10th, and like all against the big boys, is, I'm, I'm actually really proud of myself. So if I keep getting consistent top 10s, so I'll, I'll probably get a succeeding number. It just depends as if I get any penalties or not. You've got to have split second reactions or else you're going to go into the back of them and then you just flip over. So it's really hard. Two tram lines ready for a clean start. Have we got one? We have, and it's racing for the last time today. Ayami Cadet is up and away and into the first corner. It's a trio of fusions charging through from the front as Kia Nakamura Burton leads the way from Aiden Neat. Vinny Phillips trying to come around the outside and make it into third position, and he's got there. So it's one, two, and three, and Aiden Neat makes the jump on Nakamura Berta. Aiden Neat gets into the lead early doors. So Aiden Neat down the back straight as the field charges its way down the hill and up towards the hairpin. Aiden Neat leads the race. Kia Nakamura Berta trying to go in right round the outside. That is one of the ORM carts. Oliver Rowland Motorsport man, Harry Jr. Burgoyne, with support from Harley Keeble now. Up into third, make that second, and it could well be first before too long. Keeble comes through into third position. It's a real squabble between Nakamura Berta, Vinnie Phillips, and Leo Robinson. And the field charges its way forward, a couple of drivers ending up on the back foot in the early stages of the race, namely the 73 of Kian Geraghty and also the 32 of Jack Moet having a few problems off the start. But out in front, the battle is joined and now it is an absolute riot. Aidan Neat leads the way. Harry Jr. Burgoyne, having made his way to second place, is having a great charge forward. The Scotsman being pursued by Kian Nakamura Berta and Vinnie Phillips assists him as they go into second and third. Harry Jr. Burgoyne down to fourth in front of Keeble, Smith, McLaughlin, Bishop, Robinson, Carr, Clark, Hall, Ty, Werrell, Stevens, and Jeff Hall. Up the inside. That's a bold move. It's Macaulay Bishop. I'm not surprised at all. He's been pulling those off left, right, and center this weekend. Down the back straight. Charging forward, there could be a change for second place, here comes Junior Burgoyne, Harry Junior Burgoyne makes his way on the inside line in front of Kian Nakamura Berta, and Keeves goes with him, Harley Keeble into third, but Aidan Neat has been given an amazing opportunity, he leads comfortably, Macaulay Bishop meanwhile gets on the inside of Vinnie Phillips and he goes through into B6. Sonny Smith has done a lot of hard work. He's come through past Kia Nakamura Berta as well and up into fourth place. Those two have been solid rivals over the course of the Trent Valley Car Club Winter Series here for the last four months. Now it's an even tougher battle. And it looks as though Eden Spanswick has had a bit of a tricky one. He rolled earlier, of course. Uh, Eden Spanswick rolled earlier in the day. We've got to remember that. But Eden Spanswick, fortunately, is going to continue on and hopefully Spanswick will be okay through the course of the race. So Aidan Neat, Harry Junior Burgoyne leading the charge. A really exciting battle is still in the offing as the drivers continue to charge forward. We're going to see some really tough battles in this final. No doubt about that one. Out in front, the three drivers are coming continuously further forward. They will try to adopt a strong strategy out on the far side. Absolutely brilliant battle into the corner and they're going to run wide and that's Aiden Neat down to fourth position. Make that fifth position as Nakamura Berta comes through. The new leader is Keeves and into second comes Sonny Smith. Key Nakamura Berta comes back into third position. Up the inside now come Neat and Vinny Phillips past Harry Junior Burgoyne. Brandon Carr's going to mug him as well. This is how quickly things can change in Ayami Cadet. It's absolutely precious to get that amazing move out of the corner. It can change everything. They come through to the Mike Wilson complex once again. It's all still very close at the front end of Ayami Cadet. There is plenty to do and all sorts of charges will be coming through out of the final turn down the main straight. And it's going to be absolutely magic as they continue to charge forward. A really tough battle. Let's see how the drivers continue to push forward. 
to see where we're going to finish off from here. An absolutely spectacular run as they come over the Litchfield Bridge. It's Harley Keevil in front of Sonny Smith, but not for long. Kiyanakam Roberta comes back into the hunt and so has managed to make that move his own. Still great battles. Absolutely fantastic stuff as they come back onto the uh, mid straight. And oh, that's a moment for the eight of Brandon Carr. He goes onto the grass and it's going to be three wide in the hairpin. Vinny Phillips tags Harry Junior Berg on. It's six wide out of the corner. I've never seen that before in I Army Cadet. An absolute squabble. And there's contact. It was always going to lead to that. And over the grass goes Maximus Hall. Several drivers trying to get themselves back into position. It's an absolute thrill fest, but so many people. They're going to try their best now to move things further forward. This is going to be very tight. A really tricky situation though for the drivers. They've got to get themselves back into position now effectively. But this is not going to be easy from here on in. So are we going to see another strong charge? The battle still raging up at the front end of the field. Keeble, Nakamura, Berta and Smith. Then it's Phillips, Carr, Burgoyne, Bishop, McLaughlin, Ty, Clark, Werrell, Hall, Jeff Hall, Ellis Stevens, Aidan Neat down to 15th. Alex O'Grady, Leo Robinson, Harry Mamassi and Kai Bacini in front of the Knight Riders. Zach in front of Will. Who'd have thought there'd be this much drama and we've still got 9 minutes and 40 on the clock. It could still go anybody's way. Through to the hairpin. Harley Keeble going well from Nakamura, Berta and in third is Sonny Smith. Then it is uh, Vinnie Phillips in front of Brandon Carr. Harry Jr. Burgoyne, McCauley Bishop is still in the mix. Oh, a big moment there for Alex O'Grady. O'Grady gets onto the grass and he's not happy. I think he feels that he was assisted onto the grass. So he's not particularly happy with the way that one worked out. But this is going to be a particularly tall order for the drivers as they continue to charge forward. But there's going to be some great racing as they continue on down the straight. Harley Keeble in front of Keen Nakamura Berta. Sonny Smith in third. Fourth is Vinny Phillips. Then it's Brandon Carr. A warning flag comes out for the 18. That's Ethan Jeff Hall. Not sure what he's supposed to have done, but apparently it was a little bit too much. Over the Litchfield Bridge once more. And the great battle in the offing. Continuing on down the back straight. This is Keen Nakamura Berta's chance to get back into the lead on Harley Keeble. He has got a bit of time to spare from Sonny Smith, but he's not going to take it yet. Fourth position is still Vinnie Phillips in front of Brandon Carr, the winner of the final yesterday. Then it is Harry Jr. Burgoyne in front of Finn McLaughlin, McCauley Bishop and Archie Clark. For many of these competitors, it is their first time out in the British Car Championships. At national level, it is the toughest test you can ever ask a youngster between the ages of 8 and 12 to go up against at this level. But they are handling it beautifully. Through to the Mike Wilson complex. And it's still Harley Keeble in front of Kim Nakamura, Berto and Sonny Smith. But Smith is the man on the move. He's caught up to these two quite rapidly now. Now to the final turn. And that is Harley Keeble in the lead from Nakamura, Berta and Sonny Smith, who's made up 10 places for this final. Under the Lynchfield Bridge. Storming round the fast end. Vinnie Phillips and Brandon Carr still running well. Fourth position for Vinnie Phillips in front of Carr. Burgoyne, that's Burgoyne making the move on his teammate Brandon Carr. And into fifth position goes the Scotsman. So Harry Jr. Burgoyne still pushing hard at the front end of this field. Seven and a half minutes plus the additional lap. And Harry Jr. Burgoyne has a little bit of a hint of a look on Vinnie Phillips. But doesn't make the move. Seventh is Finn McLaughlin. Eighth is Macaulay Bishop. Ninth is Archie Clark. And tenth is the 98 of Lewis Werrell. The three leaders have gone clear. The three battling for fourth are next, and then it's the three battling for seventh place. It's Noah's Ark plus one, if you like. They continue on up at the front end of the field, still charging forward. Some terrific race action in Ayami Cadet in this final, and we're just getting started. Seven minutes plus the additional lap to go, as they will continue to move with gusto. Down the main straight, and it is Keeble in front of Nakamura, Berta and Smith. Here they come again, fourth is Burgoyne, now in front of Phillips and Carr, then McLaughlin, Bishop, Clark, Werrell, Neat, Maximus Hall, Leo Robinson, Ella Stevens, Ethan Jeff Hall, Nathan Ty, Harry Mamassi, Alex O'Grady, Zach Knight, and in the 20th spot, in, in the spot it is Kai Bacini. Oh, a bit of a moment from Sonny Smith as he runs wide off the bridge. Now down the back straight, Inakamura Roberta using this opportunity to edge away from Smith. He wants to get away with Harley Keeble, and the two of them can battle for a final victory.
the Japanese star has won countless times, but not in a British Cup Championship final. He's been in the top three many times, and he's won several races over the last few months uh, in the off-season, but not at British Car Championship level. And this is his moment as far as he is concerned. But Harley Keeble wants to get there just as badly. Sonny Smith in third is trying his best to make up the time, and he has done so already. That shows you how much these two, Keats and Nakamura Berta, are holding each other up. So Harley Keeble leads the race in front of Kia Nakamura Berta. Third position is Sonny Smith. Fourth place, it is Harry Jr. Burgoyne in front of Vinnie Phillips and Brandon Carr, then Finn McLaughlin, McCauley Bishop, Archie Clark, and in 10th place it's the 98 of Lewis Werrell. Aidan Neat has fought his way back to 11th in front of Leo Robinson and Maximus Hall. Five minutes plus the few extra seconds and the additional bonus lap. Nakamura Berta still hustling Harley Keeble. These are the two front row men. They have not left their spots up at the front end of the field. Tony Smith in third, trying to stay with them. Great that he's put himself into that position. He's worked so hard to get there. Fourth place, the 72 of Harry Jr. Burgoyne. Vinny Phillips is right there in fifth. Brandon Carr being caught now by McLaughlin, Bishop and Archie Clark. There is still plenty of big moves to come in this race as Aidan Neat sets his sights on the 98 up in front of Lewis Werrell to try and break back into the top 10. It's always been very difficult at this level. All it takes is one gutsy manoeuvre from somebody and it can change the whole range of the race. So they're all still battling, all 34 drivers continuing right down to the former Bambino star Eden Spanswick for BKC Racing who has now moved up into 33rd past Jack Moe, by the way. So there's battles all the way through the field, from the front to the back. And you've got to learn on the job. That's the significant thing about racing. These guys are still at the start of their career. If you are wanting to get yourself into karting at this level, you start by getting to your local kart club. abkc.org.uk is the website to get yourself into the, into the sport as a newbie. They've all done it, and they've now come to the British Car Championships. But you've got to start at your local club. So, Gian Nakamura Berta onto the tail of Harley Keeble. They come off the hairpin on the short stretch to the chicane. And now it's going to be these two, by the look of it, who are going to be left to battle. Sonny Smith trying to stay with them, but on his own, it's going to be hard to stay intact as they continue to fight further forward. And that's a bit of a moment for Hadi Mamassi. The Canadian moves across in front of Cahal Clark and makes sure he stays in a relatively sane position where he was when he ran off the circuit. Harley Keeble, he's leading by example. Out in front of Kia Nakamura Berta. Sonny Smith is third. He looks back to see where Harry Jr. Burgoyne and Vinnie Phillips are. They are edging closer. Then it's Finn McLaughlin, Brandon Carr, Macaulay Bishop. Bishop's going to make the move on the inside of Brandon Carr into the hairpin, and he gets through. Nice move from Macaulay Bishop, and he holds the inside line. So there's nothing Brandon Carr can do to retaliate just yet. There's still a long way to go. Watch for Vinnie Phillips and Harry Jr. Burgoyne. They are edging closer to Sonny Smith. No change of position for Harley Keeble. Those two are just ticking down the laps as Brandon Carr has another look at McCauley Bishop. Bishop is on the curves, keeps his foot in. Brandon Carr gives him no space. Archie Clark now goes to the right side of Brandon Carr and Bishop comes back at him. Bishop trying to get his move on the inside of the 43 of Archie Clark and Bishop is absolutely livid. He's not happy being edged onto the curves. He's got every right to be irritated. It's frustrating at the front end of the field when you're battling away for the victory. But now it's these two, still large and in charge up front. Harley Keeble and Ian Nakamura Berta. They come onto the main straight again. And there's a warning going out for two of them. It's for the eight of Brandon Carr and the 68 of McCauley Bishop. So both of them are being given warnings. Calm down, chaps. Brandon Carr is now battling with Archie Clark. Clark is going to try and make his lunge on yesterday's final winner. He's going to time it right though. And that is now a change for fourth position. Harry Jr. Burgoyne and Billy Phillips have caught up to the back of Sonny Smith. That's going to be for third place. They are charging. Here comes Harry Jr. Burgoyne on the inside of Sonny Smith for third and for fourth. Billy Phillips comes through. He accidentally nudges Harry Jr. Burgoyne and gets through into fourth position as a result. But now it's going to be a relentless move from Sonny Smith back up the inside. Just this. He gets back through as far as he's concerned. That is a move made back. Now Vinnie Phillips will try a better move. That's more like it. Sweet move from Vinnie Phillips to get back on the inside of Sonny Smith. And that was clean as a whistle. 
not intentional, of course, from Vinny Phillips. If you miss your breaking point by as little as two, three inches, it can just rub the cart in front. You've got to give these guys credit. They are eight to 12 years old, and they are still learning how to be young men. Never mind racing drivers. Down the straight, and in through the first chicane. The Litchfield Bridge. Harley, Harley Keeble in front of Keen Nakamura Berta, Harry Junior Burgoyne and Vinnie Phillips. Sonny Smith, Finn McLaughlin, Brandon Carr, Archie Clark, McCauley Bishop and Lewis Werrell. Outside the top ten, we've got Aidan Neat in front of Leo Robinson, then Maximus Hall, Ethan Jeff Hall. Ella Stevens is going well. She's running very well against her former Viral Art Cadet UK rival, uh, Nathan Ty. They are, in fact, those two, the last two champions of that series. Alex O'Grady and Zach Knight, Hattie Mamassi, Cathal Clark, and then Will Knight and Guy Bacini. But still, these two, relentless at the front. Harley Keeble and Keir Nakamura Berta. Now Nakamura Berta goes for the inside line on Harley Keeble. And Keeble slams the door firmly in his face. Just as well, because we're running short on time. And it's going to be the last lap this time by. So, to the hairpin at the Mike Wilson Complex. Harley Keeble stays in front of Keir Nakamura Berta. They come off into the chicane. And this will be the last lap they begin now. Down the main straight. Harley Keeble pulls across to the inside line. Does not want Nakamura Berta to get through. Nakamura Berta swings left. Tucks back in for a move on the inside. Harley Keeble ducks to the inside line. Stops a move from Keir Nakamura Berta who tries to go the long way round. Harley Keeble holds that inside line. And they are losing time rapidly to the third place battle. Howard Jr. Burgoyne and Vinnie Phillips are still in this fight. They're still in this fight. They cannot afford to back down from the challenge. Harley Keeble defends to the inside line. Here Nakamura Berta trying to get the switch back. Keeble runs out wide and Nakamura Berta's got it! Brilliant move! The Japanese star takes the lead at the exact perfect moment. But Harley Keeble is still going to challenge forward. It's easily done. But Nakamura Berta found it hard to keep with him. Harley Keeble just running a little bit wide, and that's all it took. But Keen Nakamura Berta is not done yet for the victory. He's got to keep this together. The pressure cooker is mounting, but he's got to compose himself in these last few corners. But the Japanese star is going to do so. He comes out of the final corner, and Keen Nakamura Berta wins the Ayami Cadet final. What a victory! Brilliant! His first British Kart Championship final victory. Harley Keeble second from Harry Jr. Burgoyne in third. Vinnie Phillips is fourth from Sonny Smith and Finn McLaughlin. Lewis Werrell is seventh ahead of Archie Clark, McCauley Bishop and Maximus Hall. Great efforts from them all in the top ten. Particularly Maximus Hall up nine places to the top ten. A great effort. Brandon Carr in 11th position in front of Leo Robinson and Aidan Neat. Then Ella Stevens and Nathan Ty in front of Ethan Jeff Hall and Alex O'Grady. Zach Knight and Hadi Mamassi from Kai Machini and Will Knight. Cahill Clark and Lewis Bird. Mason Rudman and Newman Chi from Joe Katzentonis, Sky Parker, Dan Sopranea, Kian Geraghty, Fraser Anderson, George Edgar, Eden Spanswick, Jack Mowat and Ben Smith. All 34 drivers finishing the race. An absolutely majestic battle to the finish in what was a brilliant win for our new race winner in the British Kart Championships, the Japanese ace, Kian Nakamura Berta. Great job. So, Kian Nakamura Berta triumphs in style ahead of Harley Keeble and Harry Jr. Burgoyne. Here's what they had to say in the press conference. Me and Harley just pushed away clear from the pack. Um, we just tried to get away as far and then we Harley defended on the last lap and we had a good scrap for the win. I feel confident and I know that Fusion will do its best to make sure I win. So yeah, uh, I'm pretty confident that I can take the win since I win. I won here. Me and Kian, like you said, we just pushed away from the pack and then towards a couple of ends it just started it just started to get a bit closer and closer and then it's a bit it's a bit disappointing considering we led, led most of the race and then we lost it on the last lap but just for points. Uh, I'm confident, I think me and Bud, uh, me and Kian can do the same again. Just hopefully I come off better. I'm really relieved in World Race. 
really good at the start, then there was got caught up and then there was a big scrap and then fell back and jumped back up to the front, started pushing with the branding car and then caught up to Vinny, passed him and got third from there. Yeah, I feel pretty confident that I could win round Shenington. I like the track, so yeah, see what we can do.